people so like I, Brad Garlinghouse who are funding Greenpeace and making it, uh, you know, uh, you know, saying bad things about Bitcoin. So for me, this day is a reminder that a lot of uh, there are a lot of enemies of Bitcoin, and I, I really don't think it's the no coiners, Christine. It's it's largely the all coiners that have done this, and they have a clear financial incentive to denigrate Bitcoin. We're going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort. And China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing. And then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols? Who un controls the underlying standards? of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly up. We see yield rates are slowly rising. If they keep rising and stay at this level over that four, we know we're going to be pulling back. But we still have Dogecoin getting a little pump. Now guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, like I stated, are slowly moving up. We have volume, we have tether, we have USDC. Now we have the Manhattan federal prosecutors take over the investigation when it comes to tether. So guys, the movie continues. Make sure you get your popcorn. What we do know is that tether has no problem overseas, but we see that's not the case in the United States. And we know that USDC is definitely the chosen one. And speaking of the chosen one, we have the Fed. Don't forget to pull the repo. Still over $2.2 trillion, moved up slightly. Don't forget they're going to be raising rates tomorrow. We should get a little information today. And we know next week, guys, we have midterms. So I definitely see us pulling back this week, but they won't pull that rug until after the midterms. We know they want things to look good for the masses. Now, guys, make sure that you like and subscribe and share the channel. Make sure you're sharing because YouTube has changed it up. We're actually recommending videos instead of the notifications. The algorithm is recommending what it wants you to watch. So, guys, in order to stay controlled, make sure you're sharing these videos. But, guys, do not forget about Grayscale. Move down slightly. We know Grayscale has been very quiet during the bear market. But getting over into a little crypto news, 
We have Maker Dow co-founder Nikolai dies at 29 in Puerto Rico. And I haven't done any research on it, guys. I am going to do a little research on it. I know I saw the tweet that's traveling on Twitter, but I will do a little investigation. Now we have GameStop NFT Marketplace goes live on Immutable X. And we know the GameStop and Reddit movie help drive NFTs. Now, guys, we have Steph Curry files trademark for the Curry verse where players can earn NFTs. And we know GameStop and Steph Curry is all about pushing adoption, getting the millennials and Generation Z over to the fourth industrial revolution, having fun doing it. Now, we have blockchain startup chain. Inc.'s Web3 sponsorship deal with Miami Heat. And we're going to start seeing NBA jerseys look like the cars in NASCAR. Now, because the Ripple and SEC case is about to come to an end, we have Coinbase seeks to join Ripple's legal fight against the SEC. And we know this movie is going to end during the first half of next year because we know regulation is about to be rolled out. We know the only reason why they started this case is so Gary Gensler could keep kicking the regulation can down the road. They wanted to keep the casino flowing. Now we have South African supermarket giant Pick and Pay now accepts Bitcoin payments through a Lightning Network wallet. And guys, don't forget this new technology, the fourth industrial revolution, is for the millennials and Generation Z. They're already used to using their phone. So the only thing they have to do is put on a wallet, and they won't even know that they're actually using cryptocurrencies. It'll just be seamless. A touch of a button, a little scan. And we know that also makes it convenient for the robots, algorithms, and drones. Don't forget to watch the YouTube shorts. I'm doing videos on how automation is going to run through the economy. And then lastly, guys, we have Argo Blockchain is at risk of closing if it fails further financing. And guys, we know once they start to shrink liquidity, we know we're going to have mass consolidation in crypto stocks. These big corporations is just a game of monopoly. But the guys who are printing the money, they never run out of money. They're always going to win the game at the end. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitU, Binance, and so not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Make sure you go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the C-Red, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture we have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part one, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part two, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Grandma 
Long COVID 33, part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tam goes to China. It's mandatory to get part 1, part 2, and part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.